A lot of people think that as they reach their 30s, they're just going to have knee pain the rest of their life. Today we're going to talk about knee pain and how this myth is just totally not true. Um, there are many ways that we can, we can fix our knee pain and, uh, and further evaluate that. I want to share with you a personal story with, about me. Um, I was playing a lot of sports. I've played sports my whole life. I've played basketball, football, rugby, uh, soccer, volleyball. And, uh, and I started having some knee pain. And, uh, and recently I've been playing a lot of pickleball. And, and my knee pain, my knees were, felt like they were on fire. Um, and I should know better than that, but um, I just let myself kind of go and, and I needed to do some, some changes. Um, and so I just want to talk about what that, what, what that felt like and what it was. So let me just show you here. On your knees, you have two spots that you can have. Um, uh, what I had was tendonitis, and so you can have quadricep tendonitis or patellar tendonitis. Above the patella is quadricep tendonitis. Below the patella is patellar tendonitis. It's the same tendon because they all come from these four muscles, and they um, they encapsulate the patella, and then they insert down here on the on the tibial tuberosity. Um, I had both, so I had patellar tendonitis on this side, quadricep tendonitis on this side, and and they just felt like they were on fire, super painful, um, and so. Um, so I evaluated myself and said, gosh, I've got tendonitis on both sides, what should I do? And, uh, and I just wanted to share with you a couple of exercises that I did to fix this and, and now I'm just pretty much pain free and I'm loving it, um, playing lots of pickleball. And, and I fixed this in a matter of just a couple of days of doing some strength exercises and some stability exercises on my knees and I just wanted to share that with you guys, okay? Here they are. Okay guys, so here are the exercises. Um, one of them that I really like is just are just wall sits. They're isometric, which means you're not moving a lot, you're just holding that, that wall sit. And, and from the side, I'm actually at about a 60 degree angle. I'm not all the way down here at 90. I'm at about a 60 degree angle. Pain is your guide. If it hurts too much, then back off of the angle. You can, you can back it off to 80 or, or, uh, or, or, or lesser degrees. Um, so yeah, so I, I usually go right about 60 and just hold. If it's not hard enough for you, then, then do one-legged wall sits. Um, single leg wall sits at about 60 degrees are awesome. Uh, hold it for about 45 seconds and you wanna feel a good burn at the end of that 45 seconds. One other thing that I'll do is just straighten this leg and hold it up at about, again, about, about 60, 70 degrees, um, which will also strengthen your VMO, which is fantastic for knee, for knee pain as well. So again, one-legged wall sits, uh, do them on both sides, 45 seconds each. Um, I like to do this four sets a day, and uh, I've done it for about four days now, and my knee pain is pretty much gone. So while you're in the middle of this wall sit, one thing that I've done, um, because there's multiple parts of my body that I like to work on, um, one of the things that I like to work on is, is the tendency of my neck to go forward and my posture to roll forward as well. Last time we talked about rotator, um, we talked about shoulder pain and impingement, and we talked about strengthening the posterior shoulders. Um, and so one of the things I like to do is during my wall sit, bring my head against the wall and just push back and then also bring my arms against the wall and push back as well. This will strengthen, also isometrically strengthen your postural muscles and help with shoulder impingement and also with neck pain. So I like to go up, again, rotate my hands out and up at about uh, 45 degree angles from the side and push back as well. Just during my wall set, I'll do this and then I'll come down to 45 degrees from, uh, from, from zero as well. And so yeah, those are the exercises. They're super great for posture, for, for shoulder impingement, and then also for the uh, patellar and quadricep tendonitis. Hope this helps you guys. Knee pain doesn't have to be chronic. We can, uh, we can fix it, and I'm living proof of that. Hey guys, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Voyage Direct Primary Care, please visit our website at voyagedpc.com.